No! Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be watching and reacting to Game of Thrones Season 6 Episode 4, which is titled Book of the Stranger. So, Season 6 has started off pretty good so far. I usually, I feel like these, these seasons usually, like the latter half of the seasons, usually the more exciting and intense stuff. Whereas the opening is just more about introducing certain plot lines that are probably going to be explored for most of that season and just doing a lot of character work. And I do feel like the last couple episodes have done that rather well. The main storyline I feel like I'm most invested in right now is obviously the stuff with Jon Snow in the North, and he just left the Night's Watch, which I don't know what's going to happen with that. I don't know where he's going to go. Hopefully this episode shows that because I am very curious to see where he's going to go. I have a feeling he's probably going to run into Brienne and Sansa and, and them because they're headed to Castle Black anyways. I think that would make sense, but... I don't know where he's planning on going. That's something that I don't really, I don't know. Uh, we got at Winterfell, Osha and Rickon came back. Oh, Rickon, however you say it. <laughs> I'm always going to pronounce that wrong. Just, 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 just warning you. Um, but I'm kind of curious to see what exactly Ramsey's going to do with them. Uh, it's probably not going to be good stuff, but I'm just curious. And more stuff going on. King's Landing with the Sparrows. And, you know, Arya's doing her thing in Bravos, And, you know, you got your stuff going on with Mirren and Daenerys. And you, you get the idea. Let's just jump right into this. If you want to see the full cut reaction, it'll be on my Patreon. Link to that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's watch. Wait, John left Longclaw? Oh, no. Oh, this is <laughs> this is just a flashback. Or, no, that's not John. <laughs> I thought that was John. Okay, so he did leave Long Claw. <laughs> thought that was John approaching it for a second. Where are you gonna go? Wait, no, it is a flashback. John is there. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What the hell? Oh no, it's not a flashback. Okay, so it's after that. He wasn't leaving. I thought in the end of last episode he was quite literally leaving at that very moment. I was with you at Hard Home. Okay. We saw what's out there. We know it's coming here. How can you leave us now? Yeah, for real. I did everything I could, you know. You swore a vow. Aye, I pledged my life to the Night's Watch. I gave my life. For all nights to come. They killed me, Ed, my own brothers. That is true, he is dead. <laughs> he did technically die, so that does technically relieve him of his vows. I kind of agree with that. Oh shit, they're here already! Oh, I want to see this reunion. I want to see this reunion. I, I doubt John and Sansa were that close. I think John was closer with Arya just based on their interactions in season one. But they're still, you know, they're still siblings. I do wish Theon was there too. It's kind of sad that Theon didn't get to come along. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. The music sprang me back to season one. Oh, I love it. They might have been close, honestly, because I'm just basing off of what we saw in the first season. And we only really saw John interact with Arya. I, he might have interacted with Sansa. I don't... It, it was a while ago, to be fair. This is good soup. Do you remember those kidney pies old man used to make? With the peas and onions. Mm. We never should have left Winterfell. Don't you wish we could go back to the day we left? I want to scream at myself. Don't go, you idiot. How could we know? Yeah. I spent a lot of time thinking about what an ass I was to you. Oh, was it because of- probably because of Cat? Because Cat didn't like John. I'm sure I can't have been grateful and always sulking in the corner while the rest of you played. Can you forgive me? <laughs> There's nothing to forgive. Forgive me. All right. <laughs> I forgive you. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> you think after thousands of years, the Night's Watch, we've learned how to make a good ale. Where will you go? You can't leave now, that- Where will we go? Oh, well, I guess, yeah, she would go I along with him. I don't watch over your father's ghost to come back and murder me. <laughs> Where will we go? You can't stay here, not after what happened. There's only one place we can go. Home. But you really can't. tell the Boltons to pack up and leave. We'll take it back to them. <laughs> oh, hell yes, please do that. I don't have an army. How many wildlings did you save? They didn't come here to serve me. They owe you their lives. Oh, I'm so excited now. I want- I want to see them do this. It belongs to our family. We have to fight for it. I'm tired of fighting. It's all I've done since I left home. Yeah. I fought and I lost. Damn, this is a good scene. If we don't take back the North, we'll never be safe. 
I want you to help me. Maybe you all should just go to Pentos. Pentos seems like a nice place. Everyone always wants to go to Pentos. Just go to just go there. Fuck fuck the north. You know it's cold and the, the White Walkers just you stay here just go. Like I will do as Jon Snow commands. She's gonna serve him just like she served Stannis. There was a battle. Stannis was defeated. And Shireen, what happened to the princess? I saw what happened. I saw Stannis' forces defeated in the field. I was King's guard to Renly Baratheon before Renly was assassinated with blood magic. Is she gonna tell them that she killed Stannis? He admitted it, you know. Who did? Stannis. Just before I executed him. Oh, shit. I mean, she, Red Woman doesn't care anymore. She doesn't give a shit. <laughs> She's like, you know what? I don't even care. She never. I don't think she ever cared that much about Stannis. She was more like, you know, just serving the Lord of Lights, which meant serving him. But wait. I'm honestly surprised that um, that Sir Davos hasn't been asking more frequently about like what happened to Shireen. Instead, he's just kind of like it's been probably been a couple days or something. And he's just kind of like forgot about it, and now we brought it up. Now I don't know. Um, but regardless, I, I hope he gets an answer because that's kind of messed up for him to just never get an answer about it. I feel like he can probably assume that what happened to her was not good, but I don't know. Is this gonna be Littlefinger returning? Looks like it. Yep. Defender of the Veil. Come and see. I missed your name day. Go on. <gasps> the Falcon. <laughs> was he Harry Potter? Yeah, <laughs> oh no. I thought it was an owl, to be honest. Not long ago, we received reports that she has been married to Ramsay Bolton in Winterfell. On our way to the Fingers, we were set upon by a large force of Bolton men. <laughs> nice lie. Do you take me for a fool? Tell me, Lord Royce. How many people knew of my travel plans with Sansa Stark? I shared my intentions with you, and no one else. Slander a man in his own home, you might find yourself crossing swords with him. Your home is the Vale. The Lord of the Vale stands before us, and only his judgment concerns me. <laughs> Should we throw him through the moon door? No! Oh no, don't throw him through the moon door! Oh, Robin's so excited for it too. This kid's a little psychopath. My lord, I have always been faithful to House Aaron. Do you believe him, Uncle Peter? Come on. He's enjoyed a distinguished military career. If we could trust his absolute loyalty, he would make a capable commander in the wars to come. All right, he's not gonna kill him then. I think he deserves one more chance. What do you say? Fine. Damn, he definitely pissed himself, <laughs> at least a little bit. My friends in the north tell me Sansa has escaped Winterfell. I expect she's headed to Castle Black where her brother serves as Lord Commander, but she won't be safe there. She's my cousin. We should help her. That was my instinct as well. <laughs> Our Lord has spoken. Gather the Knights of the Vale. Oh shit. The time has come to join the fray. Oh shit. This is a good episode so far. We make peace with our enemies, not our friends. I don't make peace with the Queen's enemies. I kill the Queen's enemies. Yes, that's the military approach. How has that worked here in Marine? <laughs> Our queen tried to make peace with the masters, and they tried to murder her. We enter these negotiations with open eyes. My own recent experience with slavery has taught me the horrors of that institution. How many days we were slaves? <laughs> Not long enough to understand. Yeah. Take your dragons and your mercenaries and go. Queen Daenerys won't stay in Marine forever. The path takes her westward. When we last met, I offered her ships so she could return to Westeros where she belongs. She refused them. She refused them because hundreds of thousands of men, women, and children still lived in chains. As they have since the dawn of time. People are so scared of change. There have always been those with wealth and power and those with nothing. That is the way of the world. I'm not here to change the way of the world. Slavery is the way of <laughs> our world. The way they looked at each other. You don't need slaves to make money. There haven't been slaves in Westeros for hundreds of years, and I grew up richer than any of you. There hasn't been slaves, but there's been some terrible stuff, nonetheless. Here is the Queen's proposal. Slavery will never return to Marine, but she will give the other cities of Slaver's Bay time to adjust to the new order. Instead of abolishing slavery overnight, we will give you seven years to end the practice. That actually does make so That's a while, but I feel like... In exchange? You will cut off your support for the Sons of the Harpy. We do not support the Sons of the Harpy. Yes, that works, too. You will cut it off all the same. <laughs> He's like, I'm not here to argue. <laughs> you met with the slavers today. I did. Our brothers and sisters died fighting these scum. Now you invite them to our city and drink wine with them. You have made peace. 
with the slavers. We offered terms. Sometimes peace is the better option. Really depends. I think Tyrion knows what he's doing. I mean, he doesn't know this area as well as some of the other people do, but... Yeah, a just piece. That's a good way to put it. If you betray her work, you are my enemy. I am not betraying her work. I am trying to save her city. You promised the slavers they could keep slavery. For a short time. <laughs> Seven years is not a short time for a slave. That's, you probably should have just given them like a year, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't trust the masters. I trust their self-interest. They're trustworthy if they're convinced that working with me is in their self-interest. You don't know them. We are not human in their eyes. They look at me and see a weapon. They look at her and see a whore. They look at me and they see a misshapen little beast. Their contempt is their weakness. They'll underestimate us every time and we will use that to our advantage. You will not use them. They will use you. All fair points all around, to be honest. Why don't you sit and catch your breath? I'm fine. Well, tell me he's gonna turn to stone soon. How long does it take? Does it take a while? Our queen. She's wild, you know. Don't let her size fool you. It's hard enough for me and I'm a young man. You, I don't think your heart could take it. God damn. It must make you angry that our queen chose me. Why are you saying this right now? We'll all disappoint her before long. We need each other right now. After we're done needing each other. Oh, I don't want to fight you, Jory the Andal. If I win, I'm the shit who killed an old man. If I lose, I'm the shit who was killed by an old man. Why do you- why are you saying this stuff, though, if you don't want to fight? Stop arguing. Like, he, he keeps saying, it must suck that she didn't choose you. Like, I- it's no point in saying that. When Karl Drogo died, she was supposed to come here and join the Dosh Kaleen, the widows of the dead Karl. That's where they'll have taken her. Okay, good thing he knows that. What are you doing? It's forbidden to carry weapons in the sacred city. Isn't it forbidden to sneak into their city and steal their Khaleesi? <laughs> they spot us who are unarmed. Say we're traders heading for the Western Market. Uh, that's fair. Uh, I'm <laughs> very attached to this knife. <laughs> I just realized there's a woman on that knife. I didn't even realize that. Have I not, how have I not realized that? Oh, shit. Did he see that? Don't worry. They didn't touch you. You know what happens? I know what happens. They're gonna have to fight. Oh shit. And they gotta fight with that weapons. Ow. Oh! Damn, Jorah's getting his ass kicked. Nice. What do you use, though? <laughs> he had to pick up something, I guess. Oh, did he bring his knife? <laughs> he brought his knife? <laughs> of course he did. If they find a body with a stab wound, the whole city will be looking for us. Only with the stab wound, though. If they found a body without a stab wound, it wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> they just assume <laughs> knocked out drunk or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh! Oh, well, there you go. So they'll find a body... That's been destroyed with a rock. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> the look on her face when she said that. I hope she gets out of here like this episode. I, I don't know. I don't want her to be here for too long. I kind of want to see her get back to the marine politics. Oh! We have to go now. You don't kill her, though. We will never get out of Face Dothrak alive. All we can do is try. We can do more than that. What? So far this season, wherever, whatever location they go to, it's almost like the exact same order of what they show each episode, you know? Like, they always start with, like, the Jon Snow stuff at Night's Watch. Then it usually goes to the... the some, Sometimes it'll go to the Boltons, but then sometimes it'll go to Daenerys first. And then it'll go to King's Landing. King Landing's, King's Landing is, like, always in the middle, as of recently. And then it usually ends back at Night's Watch. I don't know. I feel like they have like a, there's like a structure to it, you know, at least for this season. It's not always like that, obviously. If I were to let you leave right now, where would you go? I'd go to my brother, my husband, my family. But for you, that means seeking out money, finery, power. Seeking out your family means seeking out sin. 
I sought those things out too. The people I was trying to climb away from, the beggars in the street, the poor, they were closer to the truth than I ever was. So what did you do? I left to go and find them. Come, let's go and see him. Who? Hey. Your brother. Oh, finally. <laughs> I've been wanting to see what Loris was up to, but they haven't really showed him too much. He's not dead. Oh, God, I thought he was dead for a second. Holy shit. I can't stay strong. I never was strong. You are strong. You are the future of our house, the future of our family. I don't care about that. Shh. Have you? Have you told them that? That you don't care? I just want to stop. Damn. When are they just going to kill all these high sparrows, sparrows, whatever the hell they are? I just want them all dead already. <laughs> you are beset with enemies, both within and without. What are you doing here? I am advising the king on our current predicament. Leave. I am a member of the small council. Is small. this a small council meeting? <laughs> I am here to lend my wisdom and my support. Thank you for your counsel, Grand Maester. That will be all for now. <laughs> I wanted to speak to you about a few things. I've been thinking about the High Sparrow. We need to be careful in dealing with such a man. To prevent things from escalating any further, we have to be careful not to antagonize him. He has Marjorie. We, we can't put her at risk. He's dangerous. Look at me. What did they do to me? They gotta do something. They can't just let him have all that power. The High Sparrow has no respect for kings or queens. No respect for anything in this world. He only has respect for the gods. There's something I want to tell you. Something the High Sparrow told me. The small council meeting has been postponed on the King's orders. I would have thought we were perfectly clear the first time. You're not welcome. You once spoke of your respect for our father because he understood the necessity of working with one's rivals. You have been stripped of your dignity and authority, publicly shamed, and confined to the Red Keep. <laughs> What's left to work with? Damn. The High Sparrow seized power knowing full well we bicker amongst ourselves instead of seizing it back. Here we are. So yeah, come on, work together. In a few days he'll have a trial for me. But before that, Queen Marjorie will make her walk of atonement. Oh, not the naked walk. Oh no. That cannot happen. That will not happen. I agree. You've got the second largest army in Westeros. You'll bring them into the city. Oh shit. The king has ordered me to take no action against the High Sparrow or the Faith Militant. You will take no action at all. When the Tyrell armies come, you will stand down. Were you expressly forbidden from standing down? <laughs> no. But if the king should call on The whole on thing me... will be over before anyone can call on you to do anything. I'm okay with this, and I do hope it happens. You hate these fanatics as much as we do. You hate what they've done to your son. Do you want Lancel back? Oh yeah, I forgot Lancel was his son. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> Many will die no matter what we do. Dude, this is gonna be really cool. It's like one of the only storylines where I'm really rooting for Cersei. <laughs> That's just the way the show is, man. They get you to root for the, the villains sometimes. He's just gonna go home to see that his father's dead. I don't know how much he'd care, to be honest, but I guess we'll see. Men died trying to rescue you. Good men. I'm sorry. You were my brother. He could have gone with her that time. He broke me into a thousand pieces. I know. You don't know? He sent us one of those pieces. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why did you come here? Where else could I go? You heard father was dead and you thought you'd claim the crown. No, no, I only heard he died after we docked. You happened to show up on Pike right before the king's move. I didn't know. Tell me what you want. Our frustration is warranted, to be you fair. You rule the Iron Islands. But you gotta see he's clearly different now. They've cleaned you up nicely. You know who I am? A lord. Yes. You've seen my banners. The flayed man. Does that worry you at all? You eat them after? No. <laughs> and I've seen worse. Yeah, the Fens are the ones who eat them after. <laughs> you served the Starks. Aye. They put me in chains and put a sword at my throat. So I served them. The Starks have been gone for a long time. But you kept protecting Rickon. He fetched a good price to the right buyer. Be that as it may. Rickon's not yours to sell anymore. So what use could I possibly have for you? I can give you what you want. I hate how he sees it that way. It's always, uh, what can you do for me? Or else, if you can't do anything for me, I'll just kill you. Like, that that's his perspective. <laughs> oh, yes, that knife. I feel like she's not going to be able to do it, but I wanted to so badly. 
Come on, reach for that knife. Come on. Come on. Reach for the knife. You're a much better talker than Theon Greyjoy. Not so. Slowly move to the knife. Oh shit, please, please do it. Please. You tell me everything. All about the Stark boys and who helped them escape. Oh shit. How she did it. Oh shit. <laughs> no! Oh, they bring her back just to do that. Oh, I forgot she did that to Theon too. Fuck, I forgot she. Uh, it makes sense Theon would have told him, and yeah. Well, that's just awful. That food looks horrid. Yeah, and they're back to nice watch, just like I was saying with the structure of the the season, the episodes. It's very similar with what locations I go to in what order. <laughs> Why are you looking at her like that? A letter for you, Lord Commander. I'm not Lord Commander anymore. I forgot Podrick was here. <laughs> it's from the Boltons. So what are they gonna say? Are they gonna say they have Rickon? To the traitor Ambassador Jon Snow. You allowed thousands of wildlings past the wall. You have betrayed your own kind. You have betrayed the North. Winterfell is mine, bastard. Come and see. Bro, he's one to talk. He's a bastard too. <laughs> Oh shit. Yeah. There you go. His direwolf skin is on my floor. Come and see. I want my bride back. Send her to me, bastard, and I will not trouble you. With oh shit. Keep her from me, and I will ride north and slaughter every wildling man, woman, and babe living under your protection. You will watch as I skin them living. You... Go on. Just more of the same. You will watch as my soldiers take turns raping your sister you will watch as my dogs devour your wild little brother then i will spoon your eyes from their sockets and let my dogs do the rest ramsay bolton lord of winterfell and warden of the north lord of winterfell and warden of the north his father's dead go back and kill them all come on does he have in his army yeah the wildlings will join them say five thousand once when he was talking about stannis's attack how many do you have that can march and fight 2,000. Eh, it's not bad. 2,000 versus 5,000. Who else could join them? I'm trying to think who's around this area that can join them. I don't you know. You are the son of the last true warden of the North. Northern families are loyal. They'll fight for you if you ask. Maybe? We have to go back to Winterfell and save them both. I agree. I also am agreeing because I want to see that battle too. It's just from my entertainment's perspective, but... <laughs> oh, it's going to be so cool. <laughs> They're perfumed asses. Damn. I wonder what she's got she's got something up her sleeve for sure. She has a plan, I just don't know what it is. Well, yeah, we know the fire's not gonna hurt her. Oh! What the sh Holy shit! Are they gonna be able to get out? That's cool though, she's using fire without even using her dragons. Obviously, if dragons were there, they'd be breathing the fire, but she's doing it without even having her dragons by her side. Oh, and they, yeah, they're locked in there. Okay, I see. Awesome. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Holy shit, <laughs> look at all these people. If they see her rise out of the flames like this, they're gonna probably... They're gonna, they're gonna join her. They're gonna, they're gonna bow down to her, you know? That was actually a good plan. Get all of them in one place. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah. I forgot that's gonna burn her clothes off, so she's gonna be butt naked. <laughs> yep, they're ba Exactly what I just said. They're gonna kneel. Well, I said they're gonna bow, but, you know, kneel is what I meant. The music's really good. There's so many, like, episode-ending Daenerys moments that are just so good. 
There's been so many throughout this show. Oh, the music! Damn! Give me the goosebumps! Great episode. Great, great, great episode, man. I'm definitely... Definitely the best episode of season six, hundred percent. That was solid. I mean, every story I think was probably at its best so far this season. Starting off with the Night's Watch, Sansa comes there. We can see the reunion between Sansa and John, which loved all their scenes together, and even that scene at the end there, where they're reading the note, and it really is ramping things up because now there is a conflict between, you know, the Night's Watch, John. Um, everyone at Castle Black and the Boltons. Now, there's a reason for John to lead an army to Winterfell because I've been waiting for that ever since you know the Red Woman was talking about how, like, she believes John, like John is the one who actually was um, supposed to be the 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 I don't know if it's like the one on the throne, but you know what I mean, like the the prince that was promised, whatever. That's what she said um, in reference to it, and she also said that there was going to be a battle at Winterfell. Like she saw it, so I do think there actually will be one, and I. I think this is exactly the reason why we're going to get one because they're going to go to save Rickon and I cannot wait for that especially if it's with all the wildlings and probably some of the Night's Watch as well that'll be awesome I mean they haven't even done anything with the White Walkers this season so far but I'm still very intrigued in the story and I know once those White Walkers come back it's going to get even crazier but uh, this conflict itself because Ramsey is such a horrifying awful person and a really interesting villain I think it's going to make this battle even better once it does come. But um, I'm sad to see Osha get killed. Definitely was sad. I think it was fitting, but at the same time, it's like, damn. Like, I was really hoping to see more of her, and now she's dead. But it made sense, given the fact that Theon definitely told him about her and what she did to him. And, yeah, led to you know, what we saw. Which, actually, it's kind of ironic, because I remember when that happened in Season 2. I remember saying to myself, like, uh, oh, I hope Osha cuts off his dick or bites off his dick. I, said, I think I said something like that. And then Theon ended up losing his dick from another way in season three. Kind of ironic. But uh, then we also had stuff with Marine, uh, Tyrion doing all that politics stuff, dealing with the other communities. And I actually really like those scenes. I think there was some decent arguments there from both sides, from Grey Worm and Miss... Her name starts with an M, but I can never pronounce it properly, but you know who I'm talking about. Between them and uh, Tyrion, great, great dialogue. Uh, I like kind of understood both of the arguments between both of them, so that's why I thought it worked very well. Uh, not too many scenes at Pike, but there was still some stuff there. Even the stuff with Littlefinger at the Eyrie was cool, just seeing him talk to... Uh, that guy, I forget the guy's name, but you know what I'm talking about. The guy, and he was kind of like questioning Littlefinger, and Littlefinger basically threatened his life. <laughs> and then he was, you know, he came to the agreement that he's a good military leader, therefore no need to kill him. But uh, if you do anything like that again, we will have you thrown through the moon door. So that was interesting. And of course, the ending scene there with Daenerys just coming out on top as she always does, which was awesome. So... Let me know your guys' thoughts of this episode down in the comments section. If you want to see the full cut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon. It like that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out, everyone.